here we go. Consistency is key, folks. We are back. We are pushing forward. We are moving forward. We're failing forward. We're falling forward. We're moving in progress. What's going to happen when this becomes the norm? It's still going to be consistency? <laughs> yeah, consistency is always going to be the key, man. Because that's that's just, it's everything. Consistency is everything. Yeah, I think we you know, know that. I, I, I'm so happy that was the word of choice this year. Consistency. Um, hey, ain't it scary, though, that it's already, like, about to be May? It's already May. My Bro, I'm already getting ready for, like, summer hours at work. I'm about to be 29. Oh, boy yeah, about I to be you getting old. Getting old. Damn. My boy might be one. Jesus. That's how crazy it's been. Bro. Time is a scooting. Man, time. That's one thing I will say is I, I truly feel my kids made time go so much faster. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's because it's more major holidays and important dates to look forward to or it's, it's more I don't, of everything. I, it's more of everything. I, I just, and then, you know what? My job is really, um, I, I guess you could say seasonal in terms of things we do. Mm-hmm. So we'll have audits. We'll have like a period in between. Oh, so we'll you, have audits again. There's always major events to look forward to. Okay. Yeah. I was just about to say something like that. So it makes the year just chop like boom, 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 boom. Mm. And it just eats at the year. Like, as soon as we finish up in February, we're already talking about what we're going to do in October. Yeah. Like, it, it just, that's just the way it goes. Or September, you know, before the fiscal year. But whatever, that's me getting nerdy about work. We're not talking shop. Um, I'm Baron J67. <laughs> I'm T Jones, and we're back. This is what, episode 53 of Adventures of the Black Nerds. Of yeah, the I didn't Black even Nerds. do this. The intro, right? Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, well, we, you know, we got to fifty-three talking. episodes. In. I hope you know where you're at. I hope you know you're here. Mm-hmm. To, to... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm checking right now. I better be. At, we better be at. Yep, this is fifty-three. This is wow, fifty-three. That's crazy. Episode fifty-three. So at some point, we're gonna stop counting too. Yeah, we're just gonna just just do like Joe Rogan and throw numbers up and there. just talk. He's up in like the thousands, bro. Joe Rogan is awesome. I really want to do more interviews. I really want to talk to people who live like dope lives. <laughs> yeah, when we become really, really open, we can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our schedule scary. is all destroyed. So. Yeah. Well. Um, oh, so some major things have happened this yes, weekend, folks. A lot of things have happened um, this weekend. We've had the conclusion of the 10 year arc saga of. The Marvel Cinema Universe. It really was uh, sad. I was pretty sad. I ain't going front. Yes, I was sad. I was sad. But one thing I will say, if I don't like to spoil things, but we're gonna spoiler alert all the way. We're spoiling. Yeah. Was, everything. Sorry, we're gonna spoil it. So uh, we're gonna spoil like crazy. I apologize. If, if you've listened to this point, you might as well uh, click and then yeah, come back after you see in game. And yeah, they're serious. So for me, the movie was very satisfying. I I was a little not butthurt. I'm okay, I'm gonna give my negatives. Cause I like to do the negatives first and end on a positive note. My negatives for it was I felt like they cheaply used all the old sets and all the old setups. In order to flow through this movie, somebody said now, that, and you know no, my response to them was, "If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> don't fix it. No, but I'm just, but I'm being a hundred percent honest. Yeah, it that was my one complaint that they they pulled something that not too many movies could do, and they played on our nostalgia. Mm-hmm. They did that. Not too. I don't know too many companies who can get away with that, but. The reason it worked is because it's a bookend. Yeah. Like if this was a middle of this of the saga movie, that would have been a terrible idea. But because they're ending a whole 10 year block of movies, it was beautiful, it was perfect, but I'm just I'm just speaking from the practical side. You know me, I always want to see something fresh. Yeah. That that's just me, but they they really did a good job. Now, that was my only negative. Switching over to the positive, 
which includes the negative I just mentioned, all the way they um, the way they addressed the past was dope. Mm-hmm. All the little um, all the little nuances, seeing Thor in his worst way talking to his mom and his mom not wanting anything to do with the future. She's like, just, she, this she is already understood it. She yeah. already understood. She was like, I grew up with witches. What'd you think? Like, I could tell the future hasn't been good to you. Yeah. Like, and he needed to talk to his mom. And then, um, I even, I love the little stuff, like the way they did Gamora. Hmm. Gamora's dead. Yeah. The Gamora we know and the Gamora you spend time with is in Guardians gone. of the Galaxy. One and two, she's dead. Yeah. She don't exist. They brought it. They magically. I didn't know how they were gonna do it, but they did it in such a dope way. They had Thanos travel back from in the past to the f- present. I was gonna say the future, but to the present, and he brought with him his past Gamora. Mm-hmm. So the Gamora that now exists and in Nebula. this current time frame, yeah, and Nebula, the the Gamora that exists doesn't know Peter Quill. Does not know any of the Guardians of the Galaxy. She only knows Nebula. But you, I okay. Let, continue because I, I questioned that, and I didn't like the way they did it. Though, I think it was okay. kind of rushed. The reason why I say it, that is because how do you go from you go from seeing her at a point where we've never seen her, where she's at, or she's with her dad. Like this yeah. is dad. Like she's even yeah. praised him. Like you know bowed in front of him to instantly like we didn't get to see that it, there was no progression to it it was literally she just she got to see um, her I, sister and then her sister i'm pretty sure her sister her. explained it to her as they went because she even explained Qu- peter quill to her which we didn't see that it was more Whoa. so just oh, oh yeah this is the guy you were telling me about sure blah 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 and i, I only i only said that because Think about it. She was a key part in the present because that's how he got the stone. So since she was that, like she was a key figure in him getting the one of the stones, it should have been a little bit more play on it. But I did. I they were pushing it on time because we was True. <laughs> everybody was sleeping. I was wondering. Oh, I was ahead. wondering how the time frame was going to be. Yeah. Like, I was wondering how they were going to divvy up the, the screen time. Oh, but man. answering your Gamora thing, this movie, okay, folks, this movie, for those who are still listening who haven't watched it, this movie is not for those who have never seen the other movies. And you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, they made it open enough to where you can go to it and you can enjoy it and you can get a just of what's going on. But it is truly not meant for people who are just starting out. Let me just start. Let me let this be my first Marvel cinema. Movie. Of course, that this is not it. So going now, going further into with the Gamora thing. Remember, it was always even from when we first seen her in Guardians of the Galaxy. She made it very clear once we found out she hid the Soul Stone or she knew the location. She always had issues with her dad. Yeah. Even though she was still going to follow him. So the that's why they didn't have to go in depth. But with, it, it was it was that point though where she was still alongside her dad. Like yeah. we, remember cuz when we get introduced to her and she was with him. No, yeah, but when she at that point she had left and we didn't really get to see that interaction the way like the the separation in between her and Thanos, we didn't get to see that separation like that. She literally left to come do a mission and realized that this isn't the way I want to take it after, you know, getting caught up and being in the situation that she got in. Go see Guardian of the Galaxy 1 to see what I'm talking about. But in you and you're right. You're 100% right. This movie isn't for anyone that hasn't seen. I just I personally thought like because I personally thought because moment. she was that Without her, there is no... He don't have all the stones. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Um, they're clearly leading up for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Of course. Of course. Um, because at the end, you see Peter... You see Star-Lord looking for her. Mm-hmm. Like, she's classified as missing. Yeah. And they're, the whole next movie is going to be about getting her back. And it, and it, all, mean, it all makes sense, to be honest. Yeah. Like, the timeline of all the, the next Marvel movies coming out, 
with the end of Endgame all makes sense. So mm-hmm. you see Spider Man, you see mm-hmm. Guardian of the Galaxy, you see these movies being released. They have date re- release. Uh, they have seasons on which they're going to be released. After in after watching Endgame, it all makes sense. Okay, folks. So just giving a quick rundown. Um, what was a trip? What what really tripped me out with this movie was how it started off. That was the saddest intro. That was sadder than any of the Pixar movie intros. That was sadder than Up. Nah, it was it was it's comparable with how sad the intro to Up was. Mm-hmm. Um, it it was sad. It was sad. Like watching this, watching this man yell and look for his kids who he turned around and turned back and they were gone. Yeah. He was nowhere near the battles, nowhere near the fights. He just turned around and his kids got caught up in his family got caught up in the snap. And he snapped. Yeah. Um but I loved how everybody kind of I loved I loved how human everybody became. Like a lot of people started to accept what happened with Thanos. And that was that was really dope. Like they, I mean, you got Captain America running a survivors like anonymous group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like they're just sitting there talking about moving on in life. You got uh Black Widow running Shield basically. But even even she said it. You know, he cuz he is Captain America is that guy the on the brighter side. Look at the brighter side. Yeah. Even she was like even she said it when she came when he came in to visit her. Um uh-huh. I, I No, continue, continue. I, but we got to talk about how they ganked Thanos in the beginning, though. Yeah. After the intro. Continue talking about your... Because... Continue... Exp- Bro, when, talking about your way, movie. Cause... The way they ganked Thanos was the funniest, most gangstest thing I've ever seen. He was minding his business, tending his land. I'm low-key mad, though. Why? All right, so... All right, let me... Ex- yeah, I enjoyed the movie. So the yeah. movie, I thought the movie was great. Um, I thought it started off real slow. <clears throat> yes. As in after, I'm talking about after, uh, or it starts It starts off slow leading up to the huge battle scene. Now, what sent this movie overboard for me was the actual fight, the battle scene. Epic. It was epic, all even though all the small nuances in there. Um we and we'll we'll go down the line with that. I just had to say that. Uh you talk you brought up the Thanos thing. I wanted to talk about that. How childish they made him look. Like you go from getting what you want to then realizing the way you got what you want wasn't the way you wanted to get how you wanted. It was all weird. And then him destroying the stones the way he did, it was crazy. And then how simple it made it seem to kill him. That's what I literally was like. That's it. Like I didn't. Other than people, if you, especially if you're a Marvel fan, you kind of figured out how they were gonna do everything and get everything right. Um, which I kind of knew yeah. that, but that's I one just, thing I will say. What I was shocked. I, I didn't think the movie would go the way it did. But keep going. I okay, when you, you say that yeah. about what. Um, the using... specifics, the time frame, the oh. five years, the um, Thanos destroying the, the stones, oh, okay. how they had I... to go back and get the stones. I had no idea that was going to be what okay. was going to happen. So I, kn- I knew they were going to use time travel. Um, I just, it was just a huge guess on my part. The reason why is because, um, first of all, Ant Man was still there. Mm-hmm. If you seen Ant, did you see Ant Man and the Wasp, or did you see that? Uh-huh. One? So okay, so at, watching that, you kind of figured it out. Uh, what else gave it? Oh, away? they did. They did give away heavy about time travel, exactly, and, and, and time frames. So and ratio. yeah, go ahead. So watching that kind of gave it away, and then um, even like some Marvel. I, I'm a weirdo. I literally dive down YouTube on everything and sometimes these uh you, these um like looper there's these different YouTube channels that kind of break down and talk about conspiracy theories within the Marvel universe. Well this gotcha. was this was the one that literally just 
everyone talked about it. And it was the only one that made sense. You see what I'm saying? How else could they go back and save the world in that manner? How else were they going to get... How how do they announce, oh, there's going to be another Spider-Man movie, but yeah. we watched him die. You see what I'm saying? So, um, this whole time travel had to happen. Exactly. In some way, shape, or form. Exactly. So that makes sense. That was kind of the, the way I looked at it. I was I, very I thought it, they were just going to snap again. Get the stones and snap again? Yeah, that's all I thought it was going to be. And that would make sense, but he already has the stones. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So I, it's like, they snap one more time. I didn't know it was that powerful, though. I didn't know. That's one thing they didn't show. Was that or well they they kind of did at the end of uh, Infinity War, but for him to it it showed how weak it made him after snapping twice. And yeah, then we oh also boy, see, hurt. Yeah, I won't even ruin the end part of like who dies or whatever on this, but it shows how strong those stones were. And I thought it was dope the way they made it. Like he became Thanos, really became human. Like he he's he's foraging. <laughs> Bro, please tell me he was forging for food. Big, man, please tell me watching the big three fight Thanos was not dope. Bruh. Bro, I up? was I was in the theater. I was like, oh, here we the, go. The walk they about up. to mix up. He was just sitting there chilling, waiting. How goonish do you have to be to be standing in front of a god, a super a superhuman? And like a science genius, mm -hmm. and you just sitting there like whatever. I'm good. I've killed many like you. <laughs> he like, said, "I'm just going to wait." Yeah, I was and like, he really oh. didn't wait, bro. He tell, was up there. He he looked like Goro just chilling, like me, waiting at the end of Mortal Kombat. How fascinated was you, or how excited were you? Did you become when uh, when um? Captain America grabbed the hammer. Bruh. How amped did you get? <laughs> Bro, I was so pumped because immediately I thought about how he almost picked it up. Yeah. And, and the, uh, okay. and the when, first event. No, the no, second no, event. It was Ultron. Yeah, the second one. It was Ultron. When he said, when when Thor said, I knew it, I said, oh, that yeah. was funny. <laughs> Yeah, he was beat, and then he was mixing. And I'm not, up I'm not gonna even lie. I didn't know he was bringing it back for that reason. I thought he was bringing it back for himself. He brought it back. No, he for, was bringing it back for himself. He didn't oh, bring it back. I for thought Cap. he brought it Remember, back for him. He was doing building for a while, and then he lost it, and he was about to get killed. Then um, Thanos almost killed him. Then uh, you hear the hammer, and you see it thrown and hit. Uh, and hit Thanos in the back of the head. Cause yeah, cause I didn't. Yeah, and then that's when he said, "I knew it." I thought I, I just assumed that he was bringing it back for him. For nah, him to say he was that, bringing it back. And, for and then he kept it. Bro. And then he. Well, kept you know, it. yeah, because remember, he broke it. It got or his sister shattered it. Yes, I would have kept my. Excuse me, I would have kept my. It's mine. Yep. I'm worthy. The, Man. the funny part did was you see, did when you they see switched. When they changing? Yeah, yeah, it was like, like uh, no, this one mine. You take little one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a I I it was a lot of stuff in the Avengers that I thought was great. Um like I said, the the ending, the it's really sad. The movie's really sad. On, on Yes it is. It's it's so sad that I literally was in there like, dang, what's next? Like yeah. After watching it, I'm like, what's next? Like, it's not going to be the same. Like, that's what I started thinking. Well, well, let me tell you, one thing I loved most is it added more depth to the Spider-Man trailer. Mm -hmm. Because what pe I think what people kind of kind of forgot towards the end, when you see, you know, uh, when you see Spider-Man meet up with his friends, five years have passed. Pass, yep. A lot of people don't even like five years. So now I'm automatically thinking that that Spider-Man movie is graduation trip or before college trip. But you got to think about it. How many of them, how many of the people who go on that trip or how many even people in were, that time were frame gone in the snap. were gone too, you know, and it yeah. just popped up five it years It adds over. a whole new dynamic to everything. Yeah. And it made that trailer way more deeper. I kind of, 
spoiler, I kind of knew who was going to die based on the Spider-Man trailer um, Mm -hmm. because of who wasn't in it Um, and because of who's... Yeah, Yeah. because uh, it was Pepper Potts whose signature was on the the check. Mm. And when when has Tony ever been known to... You know, hey man, you just ruined it. I ruined everything. Yeah, it's so, okay though. I'm gonna just say, yeah, Iron Man, Iron man he did, did, <laughs> he did, did, yeah. Did. Um, that that threw me back. How they kill off two major characters? Him dying and then Cap doing what he did. Okay, it so made me so mad. I thought they should have threw a monkey wrench in the Marvel universe and gave Cap gave the Captain America. Uh, title to the Winter Soldier. I, I mean, well, eventually he's gonna get it. Yeah, he, I'm talking he's about the now, next. Though. I want oh. it now. I want it now. Well, they're, fo- they're actually following the timeline. Oddly care. enough, I don't care. He should have been Captain America because we we see the Winter Soldier, and then he is Captain America. They got the same juice. Yeah, you know the only yeah. difference is he got an arm, you know, and, and he got impeccable aim with his shot. But type you remember, shot. he's got to become white, uh, the white wolf first, Bruh. I know, no. I know, you don't care, Captain America. <laughs> yeah, they get. I mean, and every, even the, like you see them passing the torch. How how excited was you to see Peppa Potts? <laughs> oh, in Peppa, the uh, in the Iron Man. Peppa. Pepper Potts. Yeah, I was. I oh, was that whole was, scene was epic, bro. bro them Having all the up. main man, even though let's be honest, uh, Captain Marvel didn't need nobody's help. Uh, that, she just single. She hit, ruined, that was the funniest part. She to me. ruined the movie for me, bro. It was. It was literally like watching Superman bro. fight Batman the Joker. Villains. Yeah, like like he was <laughs> picking on the Joker. <laughs> Literally, that's what it, it was. It literally, was watch it. Yeah, it was. It was. It was bad, man. She Bruh. she literally came through and she, just destroyed Thanos. Was, and there, the like only thing, the only thing epic about her was the the moment where all the the female MCU characters came to get together to clear a path for her, and but that was, she even, was even she didn't need that. <laughs> I was like, why are they wasting? Like, I said, okay. What, what are we doing here? What it are was we doing? Dope. It, look, the part I'm saying is it was dope, but it was very unnecessary. Bro, that all that whole thing was she ruined the movie. She's too strong. She's too strong. Oh. She she put Thanos in a headlock. Yeah, and had in a, him. In a full blown headlock. It was like telling speak. She put, Bro, throwing hands. She put him in a headlock, bro. That he, was the he, worst. I still think the worst Thanos whooping was in the beginning, bro. They ain't straight. It was <laughs> no it that they jumped him. Yeah, who came, they, who came he down? Got okay, so who, <laughs> he, even <laughs> Thor, even Thor, even Thor cutting his head off was yeah. unnecessary. Who bro, had him in the he, headlock? <laughs> bro, he got ganged to the, I'm bro, and, and that he, was like something. YouTube and he like, that have, was like a YouTube fight. And he didn't have one arm. Bro, and they totally didn't care. Unnecessary. They didn't, they didn't maybe that arm either. They was, and then they cut his arm off. That was yeah, OT, like, dog. Bro, they whoop they molly whopped him. When I, I was sitting in the theater like, oh my God. Then you got war machine coming out the ground. I was like, oh, he didn't get no breaks. I was like, where was all this where was this energy at when he was whooping your ass <laughs> earlier? The same energy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, I think Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel ruined the movie for me. Even though she, was, I, she was, it was her parts were very minuscule, like she wasn't there. Yeah, and they know? and they did that on purpose, of because because she was ruining. She yeah. would completely. I probably would have walked out. Like, there's no point. In yeah, she, like, oh, how do you oh, have a cheat? It's code? like watching One Punch Man just go through the whole universe. <laughs> That is Punch. a cheat code. That's the- yeah. She she god moded <laughs> her way ammo. through that. Bro, she had the bandana on and everything. Bro, she was. It, I, that was dope. They did the haircut thing and yeah. got her uh, to the whole like full Carol Danvers, like the mm-hmm. modern one. Um, i yeah, and she, then I like I like her explanation for everything too. She was like, "There's a lot more planets with a lot less of you guys." Yeah. So I'm out. Like y'all ain't gonna see me for a minute. 
until it's time to throw them hands with Thanos. So we show the business. Yeah, and then she it said, was, oh, it, it, here? to be honest, it was the perfect time to bring her back. Yeah, that was the perfect was going time to bring her back, and and it was the perfect time for her to leave too. Right when everything okay. about the cap happened. So let me tell you this, and this goes out to all my blurs. Because I started a big, uh, I'm in this blurred group on Facebook, and I started all type of crap. I thought I was going to start crap, but actually everybody, majority of people agreed with me. I personally feel we are Wong. Not wrong. Oh, we had this we conversation. Yeah. Oh, we, we did this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. out. I'm out. I'm yeah. not doing hey, I'm not this. staying. What? Yeah, I'm down with Wakanda forever, but... uh. This man just came from space from the past. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Because he magically killed him in the future. First of all, can we all take a break and figure out how he found... Sir, how did you find out that we whooped you, we, we whomped you, and then you bad enough to where you go into the future to fight the people who killed you? Bring a whole army. How do you have you an army like got, that on you deck? You got the weapons you had. How do you you have... don't got the club. You don't got none of the stones. You that bold that you coming from the past to fight people who already killed you. Not from the future, and, from the past. And why is it a snap? Why, why do you have to snap? Hey, <laughs> hey, did somebody put up a post. They said Spider Man is the type of hero that if he would have had the Infinity Gauntlet, he would have tried to clap. Like, <laughs> I don't know. He why just would have been like, okay, got it. I feel like, why do you have to? I mean, he, I, I, we've seen him shoot it. We've seen Bro, him what if he would have waved his hand and opened a portal? <laughs> what if he would have um, grabbed like a tech deck? Like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> doing tricks. He's like, kick flip. Snap. That's some that's some uh Deadpool would do. <laughs> like, I'm I'm trying to why a snap? What else could you do? Like throw your fist in the air and do like He-Man? Think it. I don't know. You if you can do this shit and open up another portal to somewhere else, or if you can do this I, if you could do this and blast a beam in <laughs> somebody. I wish the glove didn't move. I wish it was on like some OJ stuff. Like if it don't fit, you can't snap. Like just like, like it was, it was like, standard it, like this. Like, it, like he just it's like this. Like that old chop action. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, oh, I, that was God. just a question I had. But all in all, I think they did a great job with. Uh, I'm just sad. I don't know. I, I question the movies to come. Yeah. I do. They I really actually do. put a list out of the new um, of the new MCU. Yeah. Oh, well, they have to. How do you kill off Iron Man and and Captain America's no more? They better yeah. put out. They better make me uh, reassure me that I that we still got an MCU. I mean, in the, in the um, comic book world, we know that we have one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I honestly, bro, you know what I was truly looking forward to? What? I when, when I seen uh, uh, Scarlet Witch going off mm -hmm. and getting ready to fight Thanos, I really, really, really thought they were going to have her lose her mind and start prepping for um, start prepping for House of M. Shout out to Tone. Tone, I, I still think you're right. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to do House of M. And House of M is when uh want, af, it ends after uh, Endgame, after the Infinity War. She loses her mind. She creates her own children. And then they tell her her children are fake. And then she really loses it and creates a whole other universe Okay, where mutants are in charge. And like the one of the only humans who's widely accepted is Tony Stark, because he's uh the smartest of them. But it would. But mute on everything. But it it would be it would that would be a dope way to uh, introduce the X Men. Yeah, hell yeah, it would. So that it would still, be it still can happen. Yeah. Oh, they because you know what? What was that scene when she was sitting looking out the water? Who was she talking to? I thought she was gonna mention something about creating your own world. I thought she was gonna talk about it or bringing back the vision yeah. in her like her powers, um, cause she I, I want to say she's a um, an omega level mutant. 
I mean, shit. they still haven't even acknowledged she's a mutant, like in the in the movies. Uh, well, did you think they could? No, they probably couldn't because mutant that that word's probably because it's so tied <laughs> yeah. to X Men. Exactly. Yeah, it's too much. Involved. Well, well, when once the changes start happening, then they most definitely can. That can most definitely start. It it'll be the perfect time to do it. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, you're starting over with the. You're pretty much starting over with the MCU universe right now. We don't got the core, or we don't have Iron Man and Cap as of yeah. Right Iron now. Man and Cap are done, bro. Yeah. Which, Which was I. We kind of it should it was expected because if you if you know anything about like Civil War or anything like that, you already knew that's how it went down. Yeah, Not in the, man, did the you, movie. I, I about the comics. Natasha was enough. Scarlett Johansson was enough. Yeah, they, <laughs> she they, was they, enough for me. Like we lost, yo, we lost an OG. Like, dang man, we lost an OG. GG. You had to take another OG and then another one. All right, so uh, all in all, what you give it out of ten? I give it a eight. I give it a. I give it a nine out of ten. I give it a ten. I give it a ten okay. because I've seen all of the other ones. Okay. I feel like I it's, still it's, ain't no lie though. I still had a lot of fun watching. Um, I still think one of the best ones out of all of them for me. Oh yeah, let's do that. What's your favorite? Um, and you can go ahead and do the Avenger movies, which I think there was three. What was your favorite of the last ten years? Like we did this already, and you said I cheated. Would you? Would you pick? Because I picked Civil War. Civil War is still, and you yeah. was like, "No, hey. this this is an Avenger movie." <laughs> it, it isn't, but it is. Yeah, I pick. Okay. I pick Civil War because, and, and like I said, we we already had this conversation, but I thought Civil War put and in this and yes, it did. It set us up for what we see now. Obviously, without the other, you know, minuscule uh, intros to the Avengers here and there. Civil War set us up for the yeah, division. Yeah, it's on. I mean, we we seen the struggles that Cap and um Tony had even in the in, in the end game. You see how upset he was. And I I felt like he was more upset because he knew it. And the, the smartest guy in the damn world knew it and no one wanted to listen to him. Everybody fought back at what he was trying to do and I, I think that was more so why he was angry. So for them to come come together and then fix the issue, what well, I mean, it cost him his life. But yeah, so I, I pick civil. I pick civil war, man. Civil war. I think out of all of them, you said last ten. Yeah, civil war would have to be mine. My pick for me, it would be between Winter Soldier, Iron Man three, and Civil War. Yeah, I think okay. So out of them three, because all the, them three are great picks i would go civil war iron man 3 then winter soldier and let me let me tell you this the one reason i didn't i didn't pick black panther out of those because because black panther is up there for me only reason is i don't like how they they took that animosity out of them they show they showed more of to child T'Challa the leader. Yeah. Like, I wanted to see T'Challa the warrior. You know what I mean? Like, it, but they did a good job of showing him as a leader. But they he had did to. A lot of, they had to. They had to show I, and him that's as why a I'm leader. I'm not mad at him. Yeah. I'm not mad at it, but I just. I feel like, like if, if they. Comparing him to Civil War. Yeah. That animosity Black Panther was man. different. And and that, I think that was more so revenge. He was in that, that exactly. mode of I need justice, I need revenge, blase, yep. blase. I think with uh and you you're one hundred percent dope. Uh right, I mean, uh, because Black Panther was a great movie. We rated that Ew. high on here. Yeah. I I just don't put it in there with these. It you kind of got to think about them differently because Black Panther hit on so many... Black Panther touched me differently than these movies. Yes. It, because it, not, of, it wasn't a hero movie to me. It was more than that. Exactly. Because it, it literally was... You can... We had this conversation on here. Like, 
who do you relate to more? Killmonger yeah. Yeah. or T'Challa? We had that conversation. That was a different conversation with the, with, with the, the movies we're talking about now. This was more so like, okay, our favorite characters, uh, they're, they're both right, but to each other, they're both wrong. And yeah. just, you know, it was, it was different. It was, just, it just sat differently with me. So that, that was that's why I didn't put Black okay. Panther in there. Black Panther was yeah. dope. Um, I just not out of, if we're talking about out of all the movies in a 10 year span, yeah, I would go with the, I would go with Civil War, but those three you picked probably would be my top three. In the role, man, said. I loved Iron Man three because of him dealing with the fallout mm-hmm. of the Avengers. Yeah, um, or what happened in New York, like him going into deep space, him seeing everything he saw, like him, like the PTSD. It was deep seeing him have to deal with all of that, yeah. and it further yeah. it further added to him growing as a person. Um. And led to what we saw in Civil War and Age of Ultron. And you just see his ego getting further and further battered and him becoming more of this father figure. Yeah. This char- you know what I mean? Like he went from playboy to hero to I'm a leader and I need to make leader decisions. If you think about it, he's the only character really that that changed, that has grown. Yes. Cap is yeah. still Cap. He's been that way Cap since he was yeah, he's, yeah. Thor has been done since <laughs> since yeah. we met Thor. Um, the range for the range for Tony Stark was very. Yeah, we very, got to see him grow like different phases of yeah, Tony Stark. Right. So, I yeah, I, I, I think he was obviously he was the guy on the Avengers, but you know it's just sad to see him go. Yeah, man, it was, it was, it was cold. He he. He had a warrior's death. It was epic, you know. Um, dang, we really talked about this for almost. 40 I told minutes. you, there's no use to even thinking of any other topic. Yeah, we might, we might as like well this. try to move on. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, on. there was one more thing I wanted to say. Ah, uh, God, I just lost it. Um, uh, movies. No, we're talking about what was Black it? Panther. You're talking, talking about, about Black Panther. Iron Man talking Three. About Iron Man him 3, um, him changing and growing. And, oh, Thor's story, man. Thor's story was so... Oh, the Hulk. Oh, okay. The, that was dope seeing... Um, I forgot what that Hulk is called, the specific way to call him, but where he is fully accepted who he is. Yeah, and I didn't like it in this right now. Do you think it was too cheesy to where Mark Ruffalo will never get another Hulk movie? No, 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 no. Because we, this is an actual Hulk? character, huh? Do you think Mark Ruffalo is going to stay as the Hulk? He better. And they're going to give I, movies. But the, the last guy, well, no, the last guy that played Hulk, I didn't. He was. Uh, I mean, I she, thought he was a good. Guy. It was what two? It's two people that played Hulk since the. Hulk, oh, you talking about like the. Not that guy. That guy, no. And then the the, um, the the guy that played the Incredible Hulk. That was in the Incredible uh, Hulk. The yeah. most recent one. The only damn one that we that we attribute to through, this. Yeah, to, to this you. timeline. It's um, I don't I think Mark Ruffalo can would still be able to continue to play the Hulk. I just don't like I don't the, know if they will. Huh? I don't think they will for some reason. What makes you say that? You just saying it or well, he leaks everything he touches to the point where they have to give him fake scripts and this and that and the other. But if you notice, they rarely give him his own standalone anything. This was probably the most talking he's done outside of um, Ragnarok. But I don't, I don't know why they haven't done another uh, Incredible Hulk movie, and it, it, it can't be because of him. They did we the all whole movie, huh? We know it's gonna sell. Yeah, I loved the Incredible Hulk. I, I loved Ragnarok. I love that. And then, yeah, he was in Ragnarok. He was, he was damn near, yeah, he was second to the And Ragnarok was basically half of that movie, honestly, was Planet uh, Planet Hulk. Mm-hmm. Well, half, of, that, half of that movie was Planet Hulk. The other half was Thor's movie. Like, if you really look at it. Yeah. Because, I mean, you actually on Netflix, I don't know if it's still there. You can go watch um, Planet Hulk. 
Okay, we're Netflix creeping into the 40th minute. minute. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah, we'll we'll have to talk about Hulk next time. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I question that. All right, so now Game of Thrones. This weekend the was longest fire. Night. This the longest night. was fire. I'm not going to even front. I, I got, feel bad for people who use the streaming service to watch this. Why? Because just be, bit rates, and if your TV ain't top notch, your internet ain't top notch, you didn't really see what happened. Yeah, I, I, I watched it through no, uh, through real. Amazon. So, yeah, no, like you, like if you don't have top everything, you you didn't see everything. Yeah. Okay, all honesty, did you see Jorah's face? Who? Mormont. Jorah Mormont. Okay, you got t- who? who Silver is this? The, the one who led the charge. Oh, did I see his face? I don't remember it. I I literally watched it on my tablet. Cause you didn't. I I I think everybody I surveyed couldn't really tell. You if he talking was about when he ran into it or when he ran back? Both. <laughs> I, okay, I seen when he ran back. I did see when he ran back. I had I to turn like the brightness really, way up on my. On yeah. My oh, I had mine maxed out to the point where any lighting looked like highlight. Yeah. And not lighting. It, like, it, looked, it was at my the brightness was so up it was grainy. Yes, yes, that's how the entire episode. But and but it it looked real. That's one thing I will say. If I had to picture a battle against zombies in night at nighttime, I ain't fighting at nighttime. We got to put pause to this. I'm not doing it, dog. I'm 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 wrong. I'm wrong in it. I'm wrong in it, dog. Mad that all the Dothraki are dead now. If it was if it was one to go, it. I mean, sad to say, they got no, they got no main character leaders. You gonna, you gonna send on Sully in first? Oh, okay. Let okay. Let me get some things out the way. I was wrong. Everybody who I thought was gonna die did not die. You were right. Oh well. Okay, I you was were right. right because you picked. You said okay. No, we talked about the first person to die. We knew somebody was gonna die. Hey, uh, but how close was Brienne to dying? Saving uh, for saving Jamie. Close. Hey, I was like, she, I knew it. Yeah, and then, <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's not who you picked. You picked oh. the uh, the dude with the eye patch with the sword. Yeah, he yeah. he yeah. actually he was other than the 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 third guy. Because remember, it was um John. What's the John's best friend in a sense? Yeah. Sam. Sam, and then the other guy. The only three from their group that went to the. That made it. Yeah, to that was at the wall. The, he died first. He was the first, and he's not even a main character, but he's like a B been character. Around. So think about how long these characters have been in the show. Yeah, like I was, as as they were running through the hallway, um, with the hound and Arya and the dude with the eye patch. Yeah, I was just I had to really take a step back and think. This minor character has been around damn near since season one. No, for sure. No, season two. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't even think it was season, season two. two. It was season two because remember Arya finally ran away and everything and caught up with the Hound and she got cat. Um, remember they fought to the death and he got brought back to life the first time. It was the the war between the three brothers through all the Baratheons, um, the gay one, the uh, Stannis, and then uh, Robert or not Robert. Um, who was the other one they were fighting? Yeah, remember all the brothers were fighting for the throne. Yeah, I don't even remember what season that was, but I do know that um, you picked that dude, and that dude died first. Yeah, the dude he, with, the, with the sword. I, now, I'm a, I'm a tell you, but they had to kill him. Yes. After watching it, what? Because remember, the way Arya was whooping their ass, it was like, oh, she could do this forever. And then when they started to fill off the door, and she fell and hit her head. And you can see, like, oh, shit, like, in her eyes. And then she jumped on that roof. It was like, oh, crap, no. And oh. then you see, remember, because at that point, the the hound was like, man, I can't do this no more. He was just standing there. And then the dude was like, yo, get it together. And he was like, <laughs> he's Ooh. funny. He was like, fuck off. We're going to die. <laughs> yeah, he was so Bro, Excuse my language. The, how ready he was. He was over it. He was like, um, 
he said bro, like, how, he was about okay, to sit down. Off. He was so tired he was about to sit down. Bro, can we acknowledge that a lot of these people, and they talked about it the episode before, a lot of these characters have been in some of the biggest battles of their time. Mm-hmm. You got I, you got the Battle of Blackwater, like you have all these major battles where you're the Battle of the Bastards, like all these. Okay, my cousin made a point. Shout out to Dante. I I am not gonna lie, I agree with you. Battle of the Bastards, in my opinion, was better than this. Really? Yes. That's, in my opinion, if I had to watch one for the rest of my life, I would rather watch Battle of the Bastards over the Battle of Winterfell. I'm a, okay, just, that's, I'm a disagree. Uh, and I can explain uh, why. I, I think with this, you're fighting something that you don't even know. Like, when, true, when she... True. When she Gave the command to light the Night King on fire. I'm like, what is this gonna do? I knew it was not gonna yeah. kill him because I checked the time. I I was I was, I was checking like, oh, the t- I, bro. Okay, I thought I was the only one. I kept tapping my screen trying to see how much more is left. Oh yeah, I was checking the time. I was oh, checking the time. I was like, there's no way. No, he's gonna he's gonna die. We're yeah. It was like gonna die the last minute of the damn show. There's no way he's going to like. I had it planned out in my head already. He's gonna die at the point where, like, everybody's settling down, and mm. it's just gonna end. Nobody's gonna say nothing. It's gonna end, and then next time on Game of Thrones, that's <laughs> that's where he was gonna die. Okay. I, oh, go ahead. I when she gave the command to light him on fire, I was like, okay, that's not gonna kill him, but that gotta do some. Like he can't like take a leg off or some. Yeah. When do. When he literally started walking, I said, oh, no. No, he's, he's going to die. <laughs> he has to die. But I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, I knew Arya was going to kill him. Uh, I knew she was going to kill him. I just didn't know how it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be that easy for her. Uh, I mean, she came out of nowhere. She literally was like a flying squirrel. and. <laughs> <laughs> hey, only thing that could have made that better with I'm shocked nobody's done. Mm-hmm. Somebody please do it. Go and add Xena war cry to her jumping. <laughs> some <laughs> some <laughs> people, please do that. Um, yeah, so oh. all right, no, so my point before I was talking about the 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 hound or Arya. Mm-hmm. When she fell, hit her head. That that section right there, she fell, hit her head, jumped on the roof. When she fell first, and all of the the dead were rolling over the door trying to get to her, you can because she was easily destroying them. It yep. looked so easy, like oh she gonna she gonna kill them all. I was like oh here we go. She fell, hit her head, and you just see her eyes she's like this is too much. I can't yeah. do this. She, she was I, on her wong. She jumped down. She broke, you know, and then yeah. she was running. Easily running from them, running from them. When you were like, "Oh, she can easily kill him." Oh no, this is how. No, this is. I was talking about dude with the eye patch. How he was gonna die? How I knew he had to die at that moment when they were when um. Remember the hound seen her, and the hound went to help her. And at some point, you you have to assume because you don't really get to see it or hear it. You have to assume that they he mixes up and loses her. She goes into the castle and she's trying to hide from all of these zombies. Or, yeah, I guess there were zombies hiding from these zombies. And uh, she's trying to get out and they come, you know, and they're helping her. Well, the, the hound doesn't full on charge in there first. It's the dude with the patch with the sword. He's going, he's going to hand me through a sword at, the, at somebody. And that was the second win she needed because then she starts, she gets up, she starts running. And then when he starts getting poked, because he wasn't getting stabbed, he was getting poked and bit, and he was still like fighting and whatnot. She oh, came back, yeah. helped him. At that point, where they, when they when they covered him, I was like, "Oh, he has to die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die." So I'm like, "Oh, this fool bear about to be right again." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, he he got to die." And then when the hound grabbed him and was like, "Come on, we gotta go," I was like, "Yeah, it's over. He's gonna die." Or and and. They actually got him into the room and he died. So yeah, he, he made it. And I was like, dang, man. At that point, I was like, oh, if he survives, this is going to be some OG, OG status. 
<laughs> but no. hey, but wait, what about that joke? What did he say? Uh, what did the hound tell him? He was like, Yeah, the Lord of Light's gonna be confused about bringing you back nine times and I'll throw your ass over the roof. <laughs> Clegane, Clegane. Bro, I so I knew Clegane wasn't gonna die because we still gotta have the Clegane Bowl. That has to happen. We talked about that. Okay, you keep so, saying their names. Who is he? The what hound. he look like? Okay, the hound. There we the go. The hound has to fight the mountain. Of yeah, we we talked about that last week. We, yeah, we they that has to happen. Yeah. Like if that don't happen, what what was the show for? <laughs> like, yeah. Song of Fire and Ice. Yeah, I don't that, care. That, I want to see the <laughs> like, Yeah, we. I want to see the giant titans beating the living snot out of each other. That's gonna happen. Um. I mean, at least she got a dragon. We know she got. Yeah. Well, if you watch the if you watch the commercial, you see she got two dragons. Okay, cool. See, I didn't watch the previews. Oh yeah, the preview for next week, she got two. So good. Um, which, so I'm a, they I'm, should they should at least just put one because we mm. knew she had one. We knew well, let me tell you why up. they couldn't do one. It, it would have like they would have had to deal a whole episode on her being emotionally lost and being down to one kid. That's now see, she lost one though, and she still Remember she had a whole chance. breakdown. Yeah, and she did, but we didn't really get to it. Wasn't the meat it, of that. She, yeah, she was literally like, Listen, we gotta do this. You owe me because I lost one of my babies type deal. And yeah. she went right about her her thing. Her mission, she I think she's at that point of the of no return. She can lose everybody, all her friends, her hand. Everybody, she can lose it all right now. Her goal is to get that throne. Okay, let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you my shockers. I am shocked that Brienne is still alive. I am shocked that uh, Grey Worm is still alive. I'm not. I am. The moment he started talking about, let's get out of this life. We all, I was like, oh, he gonna die terribly. <laughs> not, not, not today. Not to, not episode him. three. They gonna murder him. Not, <laughs> he want to change his life. He want to do better. He want to move you know out. We we did talk he about this last week. Gonna die. I I don't think he's gonna. If he is gonna die, it won't be episode three. I think once when you, okay. So for example, look at look at the Darth the Darth Raki. Yeah, they died. They so they had if there was a leader of the Darth Raki, he was going to die because they died. Look, Whereas yeah. on Sully, they was holding it down for a bit. They even had the formation trick where they shrink back yeah. up, shrink. Look at that! Look at all that tactics. That, that was that was that was. They are basically was, Spartans. Just the the, <laughs> but look, Spaniards. I, I just I now believe Grey Worm is going to outlive everybody. Mm. I now believe Grey Worm is going to be alive longer. You know who's not going to live? Grey Worm. You think, he, you think he's going to outlive? If he Sam? survived that, after acknowledging that he wants to get out of the Bro, life, Sam is still alive. Let me tell you, <laughs> Sam, Sam is still alive. Bro, and Sam was fought. OG, the first person to kill the White Walker and the Thumper of Wildlings. It don't look, matter. Look, look. I'm telling you, Sam is still alive. Grey Worm survived one of the oldest tropes for black characters. He talked about changing his life and doing better and moving on but, and did not die yeah. in one of the most craziest battles he's been in. Episode 3 and Everybody. the Unsullied handled their business. They still got yeah. an army of Unsullied. He's going to be did, here still. Yeah. I just I, I wonder if, how big the army is left. I don't think it's that many people left. No, it can't be. They're struggling. They, did you see, and did you see when he started raising them back up? Bro. They all just gave up. I was I gave up with them. I was like, I don't want to watch no more. They I would have turned around and walked away. I was like, listen, bro. I would have put uh, yeah, like let me in the crib. Let me out. Bro. <laughs> they were screaming. Oh that man. Part was crazy. That was so cold when he started Hey, I was actually really happy that Jon Snow didn't fight the Night King. I thought I would have wanted it, but I'm actually happy he didn't mm -hmm. because that would have been too cliche. Yeah. Um. Well, the way because it was about to happen, but it was. You know, he literally was like, ah, Infinity Stones. 
Yeah, yeah, he basically did pull the Thanos snap. Give it to me. All the, yeah, everybody yeah. gets up. He, and he it was a, even that was an epic fight. Look at him yeah. once again, Jon Snow by himself. Hey, I love that, bro. When I see that's like Tom Cruise running. Whenever show me a movie where Tom Cruise ran in it and it was bad, I wait. <laughs> it was always bad. Right, day. Top Gun. I can, any Valkyrie he had one hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like any movie where Tom Cruise is running, it's great. Any episode where Jon Snow is by himself squaring off, it is great. It's over. Yeah, Man. He him His fight dirt. even him fighting them. I <laughs> wait, what happened? What'd you say? I'm sorry, I kept paying you off. I want to train like him. Shit. Bro. <laughs> You know how buff your forearms got to be swinging a sword for that long? That's an axe. He's swinging the, that's a big axe. <laughs> Valerian steel. And you, yeah, and you blocking. You blocking and swinging this sword, running. Over your head. Blocking shit. Yo, nah, I'm good, bro. I would hate to be the guy who makes his gear because how many sheets has he lost for that big old special edition like, sword? Listen, bro, you come, you, how many times you going to keep making this? Bro, because that's his legendary thing. He'll take a sword out and throw the sheath. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably got to make two at a time. Bro, you have to because I'd have to fight Jon Snow. I'm like, look here, leader, savior of the people, Westeros Jesus. You, you, spend, you, spend, your, you spend your off days just making seat sheaths for him. All right, here we go. Westeros Jesus coming out with a sword again. So, so far, I think uh, every episode up to episode three, Game of, uh, Game of Thrones, have exceeded expectations. Yes. Each episode. Uh getting up to this point. And I think it has so much more storylines, so much more stuff going on. There there's no way that you are gonna be able to get it all right now. So Yeah. And they made it seem like it was gonna be like an hour and thirty minutes more. Man, it was twenty minutes more. Which is actually a lot of filmmaking, but it's a little bit to narrative watchers, so yeah, because I was gonna say, bro, we make videos T- five minute videos is a lot, it's a long time. That, but that's why I said you gotta break it down. I could take an hour of film and and like work hard and break that down to five mm-hmm. minutes, yeah. like that's crazy. That's filmmakers, but as yeah. the consumer, bro, how much shooting do you think they do thinking on that level? Everything, I mean... Because you know there's stuff that's left cut out. Like, they didn't put in the fight scene for Sansa and, Tyr- and Tyrion. Like, they were fighting down there. They didn't show that. Yeah, there was a they, lot of they, on the cutting room. They talked about how much... Because I, I did watch the end, the, uh, the recap. Mm. Uh, they did talk about, like, how it's so much and there's so many different, you know, characters that they have to, that they have to share time with that a lot of stuff didn't make it. They talked about... Um, the young girl, the young queen, or whatever her name is, how Mormon. that how that was supposed to be a group thing, mm. and they they singled her out because they they like they talked about like her her mom, and they talked about how they, it would have been uh, they giving her that time and making it epic the way it is was the right place to go with it because you don't really get to see her that much. So yes. that was her time. And then way. she died. And then she yeah. rose again. And then, you know what I'm saying, you get to see those little parts in there, whereas they still got a flashback to the dragons. Because people are saying, oh, where's the dragon at? Dra- where's the dragons? And then people are saying, oh, where's John? Oh, where's Daenerys? Oh, this. Oh, and seeing him to the crowd with a dead dragon, though? Huh? He was rich. Seeing him ready to die against that dragon, bro, that made wow. me so happy. He should. Man, he's man. always ready to go, bro. At he the, stays at ready. the right moment, though. Yeah, he's catch always... him at the wrong moment. Let's. Man, <laughs> he need to be. Co- bro, he need to... be dodging them flames, though. I, I would. I would just stay where I was at, bro. Man, I ain't fighting no dragon. I'm not fighting no blue eyes white dragon, dog. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's I'm exactly. I'm not doing it. What do you think? Oh, this oh. is not jump force. <laughs> this is not oh, jump force. Oh. I'm not Three doing eyes. it. Three eyes. Fighting the blue eyes white dragon oh. first form. Oh. 
That was wild. Mm-hmm. I just love how down Jon Snow is to die. Hey, can we... Okay, let's acknowledge all the funny moments. We got to talk about how Jon looked back at Sam getting tore up like, my bad, bro. <laughs> what do you expect? They told him to go in the crib. I know, I know, but it was just... <laughs> like, oh, damn, that's expect, wild. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know why I, I kept laughing, but when they kept... When, they, when the, the trench was on fire... <laughs> and the, the the death, the, oh, they was falling they, in the fire. <laughs> they just like, kept oh, jumping in, one. and then they finally <laughs> made like a bridge. And <laughs> man, oh, uh, but I I was really I'm not gonna lie I was looking forward to Brian dying. Did you see the, the meme? Name. Did you see the meme where they uh they did um uh the Night King and his entourage the walk in? Yes, they did the different music. Hey. Bro, what was it? him walking into? Um, what was the third song? I think it was. Was that Kanye? Wait till I get my. That one was no, dope. That was, there was one before it. Um, was it Cameron? Bro, if he would have walked out to kill, kill a Kanye, kill a Kanye, kill a... Nah, they did. Uh, they did. Um, rag on him. <laughs> and then the rules. The internet rules, though. Bro, that was legendary. The internet would rule if they did that. Oh, you got know, like a like a like a champ. They did. Uh, I I know when I heard the the Kanye. The I plan. Like, oh, God, dead. <laughs> when the plan the the plan for Theon, he was like, "Oh, we'll us and the Raiders will go protect Brand." I was like, yeah. <laughs> "Dead." <laughs> I started laughing so hard. I ain't gonna lie. I started dying when I heard. I was like, "Oh, he's dead. Like, he, he gone." It's the he least he could have. And I think they ultimately knew. Hey, this is that's the plan. We y'all yeah. y'all just gonna die. Like if he, he gets man. this, if he gets that far, it's over. The battle is over. We're all dead. Hey, but, he, I thought he was a. I thought he was an elf. The way he was out there launching them arrows, though. He was out there knocking and shooting like it was a pistol. I was like, okay, with the semi-automatic bow. I was mad he ran up on him, dude. Or he ran up on the dude like that. I was mad he did that. I thought he was gonna go out like Mortal Kombat style. I would have just stood there. Like, <laughs> we just. I would have had him. I would have had him at least pull out his sword. Like you ain't gonna play gonna me. Like do something. He didn't whip out his sword I'm for mad. nothing. He, he didn't whip his sword out one time. He threw a spear. Until he was about to whip it out, and then you know. <laughs> Arya Stark for the clutch, Arya Stark, though. Bro. Tell me, uh, Arya Stark is more clutch than... Wait, please tell me. That was not her vinegar stroke face from when she stabbed him. She looked like she finished all over the Night King. She was like, ah! <laughs> Come on, man. Look, I, I, I laughed so hard. I had to watch that at least five times. She was like, ah! <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> like, that little butter knife ain't even that long. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. That's the first time he was ever touched. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, how did Lissandra gas her up, though? So what do we say to death? Oh, yeah. She looked. She turned into Terminator. She started. <laughs> and she disappeared, the whole. <laughs> She was gone. She was gone for the rest of the episode. Uh, that should be a whole movie in itself. Her journey to go get the Night King. What was mm. she doing? She was probably killing all time. <laughs> Bro. Bro she, I to be honest, when um when Dude was making her the the spear, I thought it was supposed to be like the the spear part ejected out. Mm. Like I thought that's how she was going to kill him. All in all, she killed him though. It don't Bro, matter. That was... A win's a win, especially in they book. All right, man. man. Well, we we're at that point. Man, we didn't talk about nothing else. It Ain't was... nothing else to talk about. This weekend was epic. Our ten years of our lives came to like our movie cinema lives came to a a bookend. Not over, but this cluster of movies they they're done. Yeah, they're done. Something our kids are gonna be able to. Game of Thrones ends. You know what? I just had to go start watching over. 
The Wire. I just started it back up. Actually, my well, name is me. <laughs> yeah, I'm on season three now. So, LeBunk and uh, yeah, what was his name? What did he call him? Something top. Um, oh, you talking about McNulty? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, that dude. It's it's funny how we after going back and rewatch it, how he is the reason for everyone's troubles, good yes. guys and bads. Yes. So, and then um. And then even oh wait no we're done all right we're done yeah but. guys check out nerds noir check out our individual YouTube pages oh bro I'm I'm going to need that PNG file from you for what uh nerds noir's PNG file got you I was like what are you talking about um but yes folks please check out all of the links below we have so much content we're putting out there everything from live streaming to clothing to um just stuff on top of stuff and much love and shout out to the people who blast us across the ether and across the universe so all the world can hear the tone deaf network family much love to you guys really really appreciate you guys seriously that is such a dope connection that we made and i'm i'm happy that we're a part of that and you know something bigger than ourselves Mm -hmm. um and um, That's it, here's to more Game of Thrones. I don't know yeah, who's going to sit on the game, throne. Gaming content next week. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about, yeah, we'll talk games, about games next games. week. Our movie video games. I heard there's something about a guy who runs fast. But that's it. I'm Baron J67. You always ruin that, bro. Sorry. All right. I'm T. Jones. Adventures of Black Nerds, man. Consistency is key. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Peace. Peace.